Hi everyone, in this video we are going to solve a grade 3, grade 4 uh, Singapore math problem. Let's dive in straight into the problem. So, Josephine bought 8 packets of biscuits. Each packet had a mass of 500 grams. She repacked the biscuit packets into 3 boxes. The first box was twice as heavy as the second box. The third box was 60 grams heavier than the second box. What was the mass of the second box? That's the question. So there are two parts to this question. First, it says she bought eight packets of biscuits and each packet of biscuit had a mass of 500 grams. So for this, we can draw eight boxes or eight modules or eight units and we know that each packet had a mass of 500 grams. Again, when we draw boxes or the way we call it as we call them as units, what it means is each of these units are of the same size which means they represent the same value. So each of this is going to be 500 grams and since we have eight such units, Totally, we have 500 times 8, which is 4,000. So the total mass of all the 8 packets of biscuits is 4,000 grams. Right. We have solved the first part of the problem. We have found out the total mass of the 8 packets of biscuit, with this, which is 4,000 grams. So now we move on to the second part. And for that, let's just rewrite these in terms of, you know, statements so that it's easier for us to take one and solve. She repacked them into three boxes. The first box was twice as heavy as the second box. Usually in such statements the quantity that or the item that comes after twice as heavy as, twice as much as or more than, less than etc that is our reference point. In this case, the second box is the reference point. We are trying to express the mass of the first box in terms of the second box. So let's first draw a model for the second box. We just draw one box or one unit, right? Now, when you compare with this, the first box will be twice or two times. So that would be two such boxes or two units as we will you know continue to speak about it we will call these as units so second box is represented by one unit first box is twice as heavy meaning two times so that would be two units two boxes here the third box was 60 grams heavier than the second box so again we are comparing it with the second box when you compare it with the second box, the third box is whatever the second box weighs plus 60 grams. So this diagram here represents the total mass of the biscuit packets in the three boxes. So it is this uh, unit that you see here, this is an unknown quantity, but we have similar units, one, two, three, four such units here. And a known quantity of 60 grams. So this whole thing together, as we see know here, this total mass is 4,000 grams. So the total value of all of these should be equal to 4,000. So if, since this is considered as one unit, now we have one, two, three, four units plus 60 grams. Four units plus 60 is equal to 4,000. This is like a weighing scale, as you know, the equality is maintained. The left hand side is equal to the right hand side. To solve and find the value of the units, we need to remove all these known values from the left hand side. So what we are going to do is take away 60 from the left hand side. Again, to maintain equality, because the left hand side is equal to right hand side. When we take 60 from the left hand side, we have to take 60 from the right hand side as well so that the equality is maintained so we do subtraction on both sides so here 60 gets cancelled 
on the right hand side we have 4000 minus 60. So 4 units is equal to 4000 minus 60 which is equal to 3940. One unit is equal to 3940 divided by 4 right because we have 4 units of the same size. So each unit is 3940 divided by 4. So one unit is represented by or <coughs> is equal to 985 grams. Now when you look at the diagram, it clearly shows second box is represented by one unit. So the mass of the second box is 985 grams as you can see here. So the answer for this question is mass of the second box is equal to 985 grams. Now if you want to find out the mass of the first box, then it's made up of two units. So 985 grams plus another 985 grams or you can also say two times 985 grams. That will give us the mass of the first box. For the third box, we have one unit plus 60 grams. So that one unit, as we know, is 985 grams plus 60. That gives the mass of the third box. So this is how we solve this problem using models. Now, we will also see how to solve the same problem using algebra. So we can compare and you can pick whichever, uh, you know, options uh, is easy for you and you can just start use or applying that method to solve problems. So we have, we are looking at the same problem. Josephine bought eight packets of biscuits. Each packet had a mass of 500 grams. She repacked them into three boxes. The first box was twice as heavy as the second box. The third box was 60 grams heavier than the second box. What was the mass of the second box? Just like in models, here, instead of using units or boxes that we drew there, we are going to use alphabets to represent unknown variables. Right? So first, Josephine bought eight packets of biscuits and each packet had a mass of 500 grams. So mass of one packet is 500 grams. So mass of eight packets would be eight times 500, which is equal to 4,000 grams. So we have found the total mass of the total eight packets of biscuits. Now let's look at how she repacked them. She repacked them into three boxes. The first box was twice as heavy as the second box. The logic here is the same as what we did for models. Whatever comes after twice as many as twice as heavy is, that is our reference point. The second box is our reference point. So let's assume that the mass of second box be equal to x. So it, so it says that the first box was twice as heavy as the second box. So mass of the first box is equal to twice or two times x. And the third box was 60 grams heavier than the second box. So here again, we are comparing the third box with reference to the second box. So mass of the third box is equal to mass of the second box plus 60 grams. We know that the mass of the second box is represented by x, so x plus 60. Now, the total mass of all the three boxes can be written as the sum of x, 2x, and x plus 60. When we add all three, that should be equal to 4000 grams here. So these three quantities we add together, and then that should be equal to 4000 grams. Let's write that out in terms of equations. x plus 2x plus x plus 60 is equal to 4000. We are going to add up all the x values here. 4x, there are 4x's here, 4x plus 60 is equal to 4000. Similarly, say this is an equation. Um, so the left hand side should be equal to the right hand side. We have to maintain it all along. 
So we are going to remove the 60 from here, left hand side, which means you'll remove a 60 from the right hand side. 4x is equal to 4000 minus 60. So 4x is equal to 3940. So x or you know, x is going to be uh, equal to 3940 divided by 4. So that gives us 985. Mass of the second box is equal to, you see here, is x. So that is equal to 985 grams. So that solves the problem. If you need to solve, find the mass of the first box, then we can substitute it here. 2 times x or 2 times 985 grams. Mass of the third box again, if you want to find out, we can substitute it here. x plus 60 and we know x is 985. So 985 plus 60, that gives the mass of the third box. So this is how we do the same problem using algebra. I hope this was helpful. If you have any doubts, please leave your comments in the comment section. And if I have any more questions that you need to solve, please do put them down in the comment section. I'll try to respond as soon as possible. Thank you very much. Have a great day. Bye.